Hello everyone, welcome to Lagos Housewife Family Kitchen. Another episode of Eat Natural, Live Healthy. Today I want to make Nigerian meat pie, yes. And I'll actually be using my ninja food processor for that. Do you know I've not made meat pie in like four or five years. My husband has been like, you don't even make meat pie for me again. I'll be like, the wala is too much. But you know when I got the ninja and I was looking through the recipe book, I saw a pie dough recipe and I was like, oh, meat pie, that's true. The food processor can knead dough. Mm, time to make Nigerian meat pie. And I said, let me come and show you. But that's not all the food processor will be doing to show you how multifunctional it is. I'll use it to make the pie dough. I'll use it to mince the meat and I'll use it to chop the potatoes and veggies and things that I'll be using in the filling. That's another thing I don't like the while I'm having to chop, chop, chop with hand. But now I have something that can do all that. Meat pie galore has landed. <laughs> so I said, let me show you how I'll be doing it with the ninja. <laughs> I'll be using the dough blade for the dough. So let me fix that. 300 grams of flour. This is regular flour. I've already measured it out. One teaspoon of salt. 156 grams of butter. Cold, hard butter, frozen. They actually used half butter, half shortening in their own recipe, but I don't have shortening and I don't like using shortening. So I'm using all butter cut into cubes, 156 grams. I'll cover this and pulse. Let me check. Okay, I still need to pulse a few more times. Good. The reason I paused, can you see this, is to make it like to shred the butter and then make the flour and the butter integrate and become like sandy, sandy powder. That's the reason for the pulsing. So it's almost sandy, coarse and sandy. To this, I'll add 125 ml of water, 125. Cover it back up. And this time, I'll be using the dough function. Yes! That is so easy. My dough is done. Can you see that? <laughs> now let me bring it out. Turn out my dough. Don't overwork your dough, as in don't press it too much. If not, it will be, it will turn out not crispy. So I'm just going to flatten it a bit. Then I'll wrap it up in cling film and put it in the fridge. Make sure no side is left exposed. If not, it will dry out. So this will just be in the fridge while I'm making the filling. Once I'm done with the filling, I'll bring it out. Time to mince my meat 
For this, I'll be using the sharp blade. This is the cutting blade. So fix that inside. I have my meat here. It's very cold and a little bit frozen, but not solidly frozen. If you want perfect minced meat, this is the texture you want. Very cold and a little bit frozen, but not too solid. So I'll be putting that in now. Cover that up. To start, I'll be pulsing. Then move to low. That has been completely obliterated. Can you see that? Completely obliterated. In fact, it looks like jello. <laughs> Let me pour this out. Time to chop my veggies and I'll be using the cutting blade again. So fix that. Irish potatoes, raw one carrots, green bell pepper, onion. Cover. And this time, I'll be using the chop function. Chop. I don't want that pulverized, so let me check it. It's okay. This is very okay. Let me show you. Can you see that? It has chopped everything up neatly. I'll now be making the meat pie filling. I have my pan here, adding a little oil. Once it's hot, add in your minced meat. And we have plenty minced meat. Make sure you break it up so that it doesn't form lumps. You see the way I'm breaking that up and it's browning already. So I'm going to add salt and black pepper now. A teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of black pepper. I'm now going to cover that and let the water cook it, then I'll open it up to fry. So the water is all dried out now. Time to add my chopped veggies. As per Nigerian meat pie, a teaspoon of thyme, a teaspoon of Holy Spirit spice, 
one tablespoon garlic ginger paste, one tablespoon green paste. Just because of my people sha, a teaspoon of curry. <laughs> Time to stir everything in. This is rich meat pie filling. Plenty minced meat. Not like all those ones that will be more of potatoes than meat. <laughs> it will now be potato pie. I'm going to add a little itsy bitty pinch of water I'll cover that up and just let the water dry out a bit let me check that okay the water is almost all gone Now, you see that this one doesn't need any, anything to thicken it. I know uh, mostly people add, uh, what do they call it, flour and water together to thicken it and make it like a slurry. This one has no need of that. It's already very moist. So I'll switch off the fire and leave it to cool before we put it in our pie. Time to roll out my dough. A little dusting of flour to prevent sticking. And this is my dough from the, my pie dough out of the fridge. The reason I put it is because pie dough is supposed to stay cold. It should not be warm. So I'm going to take this and roll it out again. Let me just set this aside. Make sure you don't roll it out too thin. If not, it will burst when it's baking in the oven. If you have a pie cutter, use a pie cutter. Me, I just generally use anything round I have available. Now time to fill out the dough, my rolled out doughs. So you just place it one side. Then you stretch this over it and just close up the edges. I have my fork here. I'll just use this to press. So that's it. I'll do the rest now. And this is the last one. 
I filled it very well, especially for myself. Now, all you need to do is just egg wash. Just brush it with eggs. That's the plain English. Don't forget that while you are rolling it out, you should preheat your oven 180 degrees centigrade. That's what the temperature you preheat it to. Then, now I'll put it in the oven. It will bake for between 20 to 30 minutes. Start checking by 20 minutes. Then, however brown you want it. If you want it very dark brown, let it stay a little bit longer. But once it turns golden brown, it's actually ready going into the oven now my meat pie is ready look at that let me check yoto yot Ooh, can you see <laughs> so sweet so delicious did you see how easy that was so easy as in the ninja food processor just did everything did the dough for me then minced the meat and chopped up the veggies and all i had to do was just roll out and feel and yes my meat pie is ready so so amazing now i can be making meat pie no need for my husband to be asking me again it's been long you've made meat pie for me oh now meat pie is every day <laughs> every day no definitely not every day and yes here's the thing to even make it faster you can like do your filling exactly the way i showed it you can do your filling in bulk plenty and then portion it in in the freezer whenever you just feel a hankering for meat pie you can just put everything do your dough and then roll out your dough and put your filling and bake your meat pie that will cut a whole lot of processed away from it and not only that i hope you know the filling can be used for different things i have leftover filling i've already kept it i'm going to use some for pasta and i'm going to use some uh, for sandwiches so many other things you can use it for so as always you know you can always trust me to bring more recipes your way delicious simple appetizing natural recipes your way and I'll put the details of how to buy this in the description below. This is the 4-in-1 Ninja. It comes with the food processor, the smoothie jar, the blender jug, and a spiralizer. So you, you can buy it from our supplier. And I'll see you next time. Ciao!